Um, so, being a member of the national team, uh, our coach gave us the privilege, a few of us, she picked out a few people, to uh, be part of a FIFA seminar in Zagreb last week, week before last. Uh, so, you know, when she first called me and told me, I thought, seminar, probably listen to a few lectures, learn something, maybe FIFA has some new ideas, they're going to tell us, something like that. It should be interesting. Uh, yeah, it was a lot more work than that. We got to this, there were maybe about eight of us from the national team that were there. And then we were also in a group with all of our coaches uh, that coach our national team and others that coach in different clubs as well. So we have people that are of uh, different ages. Some are players, I'm still, pl I mean, still a player. I play for the national team and then my coach who's much older and coaches the national team. And we're all in one group. Um, that was the first. You know, and then some have uh, certificates. Some, like myself, have absolutely no experience coaching at all whatsoever. And then all of us are being led by one person. Her name was Beatrice von Seibenthal. Uh, in Croatian, though, we were calling her Beatrice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, and the whole time we were just Beatrice, Beatrice. Making us do work, Beatrice. Yoi, Beatrice. Ne bia, Beatrice. Uh, anyway. Uh, from this seminar, so how it actually turned out to be was we would get there at 8 o'clock in the morning, start by 8.30, have a lecture till about 10, go outside and play something, come back inside, shower, eat lunch, and by that time, all right, from 8 to 12 is already, you're tired, right? But that was just the beginning. Uh, after lunch, we would have another lecture that would last a few hours held by Beatrice, uh, and then we would have training. And in this training, some of us are trainers, some of us are players, and, and uh, two of the, we were there for four days. Two of the four days, was, there was another team, so a mix of 20 girls that came from one of the clubs in Croatia. This was a coaching seminar, so we were learning how to be coaches, pretty much. Uh, and then after that training, so now it's already six o'clock, so we've been there from 8 to 6, 7. I have to go back and shower again. Don't get any food, even though we're all hungry. And go back and do a, a kind of like a lecture review for how, what, what we learned or what we did all day. After one day, you're pooped, man. You can't do anything anymore. And, you know, I had schoolwork. I was supposed to be in class. I had uh, to study. I had, you know, all of us had other things that we would go home and we'd be so pooped when we got home that, there, you know, there was no way that we would uh, be able to cough up the energy to do anything else except go to sleep so we can wake up the next morning and be there in Beatrice's class at 8 o'clock. Um, all in all, even though it was ridiculously tiring, I thoroughly enjoyed that seminar. Not only because, you know, I laughed a lot and it was fun because anything that, you know, is soccer is fun. Um, I actually never realized how, you know, I guess difficult it is, how much different it is to be a coach or, you know, to plan these trainings, come up with these ideas. You know, there's a structure for a training. There was, you know, all these different things that you have to keep in mind that I never really thought of. And it actually sparked an interest. I think that, you know, I wouldn't, I, I want to get the UEFA B license, which I can because I'm a national team player and I'm going to go get it soon. And I kind of want to, you know, go into that, learn more about being a coach, because I, have, I found it quite interesting. Al although we were doing the same thing for three days straight, um, I, if there was another one, I'd really want to go and uh, do more of these. And I'm, I'm really excited to go to class to learn more for the uh, UFOB license.